In this video, I'll show you how to convert two mode networks to one mode network. The data set we'll be using today is the Supreme Court data set. Let's first take a look at this data set. We use DL Editor to open a UCI Net data set. Since this is a default data set that comes with UCI Net, we don't need to go to a different folder. We'll just use the default path. Let's find Supreme Court which is right here, open and OK. So this is the two mode network data set we're looking at. The reason we call it two mode because the columns and the rows represent two different types of nodes. Here, the columns are the justices and the rows represent the cases. So now we want to convert this two mode network to one mode network by justices. That means we want our new network's nodes are the justices. We can use UCINet function to do that. Let's first close this window. We go to data, affiliation, two mode to one mode. And here we are asked to add our input data set. Our input data set is the two mode network, which is the Supreme Court right here. Open the output data set. Remember, we want to convert our two mode network to one mode network by justices. The justices are the column. The rows represent the cases. So here, the default setting are the rows. No, we want our new network is converted by columns. So we select columns. OK. So this is our new network, which is one mode network. The columns are the justices. The rows are the justices as well. What do those values mean? I have a different video to explain the meaning and the interpretation. I'll post the video link in the description section below. Now let's visualize our one mode network. We go to visualize, load our data set. Now, remember, we have already converted our two mode network to one mode network. And the new network is Supreme Court by columns. Columns represent justices. We click open. So here we go. This is our one mode network. For the layout, I want the justices who are similar are placed together are placed closer in this visualization. So for the layout, I choose scaling. Here it says select valued tie variables. In this case, it's a Supreme Court columns. Uh, I want the similarity. That means the more similar the two nodes are, the closer they are in the layout. We click OK and this is our new visualization. I want to center this network. So we click this one, resize to fill area. Here we go. Uh, that is our network visualization. The node labels and the node symbols are both too small. So I'm going to increase the labels, the size of the labels, and then I'm going to increase the symbols. And then I need to resize it a little bit. The next, I want the thickness of the ties to represent the tie strength. So here I use properties, lines, and size, and choose tie strength. Here the relation is the Supreme Court columns, which is our one mode network, and I I'm going to use the default setting right now to see what it looks like. Apply. Here we go. So this is our new data visualization of the one mode network. I hope this video helps as you converge your two mode network to one mode network.